A new bill making its way to the U.S. Senate could provide more funding to states like Washington to finally clear out backlogged rape kits that have taken years to process and review. In November, Washington still had thousands of untested kits. Fox 13's Jennifer Dowling is live now with a look at the legislation and where Washington stands in its efforts to get those remaining kits tested. Good evening. The Washington State Patrol says the state crime lab is closer than ever to clearing out the backlog with around 3,000 kits left to go. Any money the state might get could help to speed things along and keep turnaround times low for the new kits coming in. Back in 2017, it was estimated there were roughly 12,000 uh, kits out there that had, had not been tested. Chris Loftus with the Washington State Patrol says the state has come a long way from the 12,000 kits that sat untested on evidence shelves six years ago. In November of last year, the number of kits waiting for testing and review had been cut in half to around 6,000. And this month, he says, it's dropped even further. You're looking at roughly somewhere between 2,500 and 3,000 that are still in the process somewhere, but all of them are in the process. Testing picked up after the state increased capacity by opening a lab in Vancouver a couple years ago. We're about 80% there as far as the capacity of, of that training for these new folks. New technology has also helped to cut down the turnaround time for new tests coming in. In the past, Loftus says it would take around a year to get results back on a rape kit test. Now the turnaround time has been cut, he says, to around 45 days. Robotics have, have, have turned this into a 24-7 operation as opposed to just when those scientists were sitting at their desk. U.S. Senator Maria Cantwell of Washington has also recently helped to introduce legislation reauthorizing the Debbie Smith Act through 2029. It would provide state and local law enforcement agencies with more resources to continue to reduce the backlogs in analyzing DNA evidence from untested rape kits. It was originally signed in 2004 and was reauthorized in 2008 and 2014. In January, the Washington State Patrol posted online that there were 1,473 kits that were collected after July 2015 that still needed testing. Loftus says the state's goal is to get the backlog eliminated once and for all in 2023. We're at about 90% of the historical kits um, that have uh, been sent to us that have gone through the process and have received the testing that was necessary and have, have gotten the evaluation. Uh, we're quite confident that by the end of this calendar year that the residual of that will, will be down to zero. And Loftus says their goal is also to get to full capacity with their scientists and labs in a year's time. Back to you in the studio. Thank you.